Years ago when I was working on and flying seaplanes, I had to fight a persistent problem on my airplane, and that's dissimilar metal corrosion. If you don't know what that is, let me introduce it to you now. It's what happens when you take two dissimilar metals, put them together, and provide a high moisture, or in the case of a seaplane, a salt content to that, and it will cause a, an electrolysis and a corrosion to develop between the two metals. I mean, you see it in these old Mercedes fuse box. Look at this fuse box here. You have an aluminum fuse and a copper alloy holder, and you subject it to moisture, and look at what happens. Look at the corrosion that forms on the tips of the fuses. Well, when you're working with these old Mercedes, there's other areas where you have to be aware of dissimilar metal corrosion, particularly if the car has been in a salt environment where they use road salt. I mean, you put, you put steel and aluminum together and you add road salt and I guarantee that you'll have a problem. And, I, you know, I've, I've used a couple different products over the years to fight this problem. Uh, but the best one I've found is anti compound. Now, you can buy anti compound in these big containers, but it probably will take 10 years to use this much anti compound. So what we're doing here at Mercedes Source is we're packaging it in these small one-half ounce containers and letting you have this. This is something that you really need to put in your toolbox and just keep there. There's um, a couple problems that are cropping up on these old Mercedes. I'm seeing more and more of these happen. And it's usually when a steel bolt is inserted into some sort of an aluminum bracket and it's low enough towards the ground where it's getting moisture or road salt and then that bolt will corrode in there and there's no way you can get it out. This is a alternator bracket off a 617 turbo diesel. And this is a constant problem with people that have these cars back in the Midwest. They go to change their alternator and they can literally not get this bolt out. The only way you can get the alternator off the car is come in here and cut this bracket apart and then you're going to have to find a new bracket. So if you're working on your car, here's another one. The, the thermostat housing bolts. Those steel bolts will go down into an aluminum thread in the housing on the bottom of the thermostat and they'll seize and when you go to take the thermo thermostat housing off, you'll just break the top of the bolt off. And, and then just try to drill and tap out a steel bolt in an aluminum housing and you'll know how frustrating that can be. So I recommend Anytime you're working on your old Mercedes, if you've noticed corrosion in, in the engine compartment and you're working on steel and aluminum, just take a small amount. You don't need very much. Um, take a small amount of anti-seize compound and just rub it on the bolts or put it on the threads if it's threading down into an aluminum area and wipe this on and then when you go to install the bolt, you know, let's say in five years you have to take this back out. That bolt's going to come out. It's not going to be frozen in there. So I like anti compound. I highly recommend that you get a small container of it and keep it in your toolbox and try to prevent that dreaded dissimilar metal corrosion.